welcome to your very first judging. Now to help me with the very difficult decision with who goes home each week, highly sought after fashion and celebrity photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Hi ladies. <laughs> first up, Nikita. I feel like you should have been rating some kind of animal sort of vibe. You know, it's a pretty catalog shot. <laughs> Thanks, Nikita. Rebecca, guess what you're next? Well, I am dying to see your best shot. Oh, me too. All right, let's take a look. It's very aristocratic and it's so contrary to your environment. Heather, you're next. Let's take a look at your best shot. You are totally channeling the bobcat energy in this picture. Yeah. I, I would have expected you to walk in this room with a little more style and a little more flair, and I, I just feel like your outfit might not be the best presentation. Well, next up, Megan. You have an incredible ease in this photograph. You just seem very comfortable. It's quite impressive. Ebony, you're next. I've wanted to be a model since I was nine years old. I am emotional because I'm so passionate about Can it. I interrupt? I'm a little emotional too. Je vois ici que tu viens de Rapantini. Oui. Moi aussi. <gasps> We're from the same obscure little suburb of Montreal. Rapantin Beach? Well, ben oui, je, oh, la, la oui. Marina. <laughs> oh, ben, call in the bin. <laughs> wow. Let's take a look at your best shot. Miriam. They're selling an image, and she's definitely selling the image. I understand this is theater, that. it's drama. It's now time for the judges to deliberate. All right, well, so far, a great batch of girls, but we gotta make a decision. One of the biggest disappointments for me tonight is Heather. If she's able to deliver this, don't you think there's something brewing under there that you, we can draw out of her? Uh, hopefully. Nikita. I liked her. I think she's got potential. I don't think she's delivering. I mean, she's not selling the idea. Tiffany. She's saying, it, I'm, I'm passionate about it, and this is what I want. I don't buy it for a second. I just don't get the feeling she really wants to be here. Megan. She's gorgeous, and she reads model completely. Lindsay. This image is very dynamic to me, and like, I love the fact that she's, you know, throwing caution to the wind, and like, you know, let me just jet my pelvis out as far as I can take it. It looks dislocated. Kudos okay. to her for dislocating her pelvis. Ebony. She's one of the girls that looks least like a model to me. You know what? I think we've reached our decision. First cut. Now, of course, helping me with this difficult decision today, highly sought after fashion and celebrity photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Oh my God, you guys look amazing. First up is Lindsay. The shorter haircut makes you look so much more youthful. There may not be eye contact, but I mean, there's definitely a chemistry going on between her with the partner. All right, Ebony, you're next. Oh, that's great. That's very like Dovima. Yeah, that's, you're, you're giving me that old like Avedon. I love that. All right, Miriam, you're next. You have to be on your top game in every single frame because you never know which one is gonna be picked. All right, Nikita, you are next. Body Whoa. language, face, wow. you're working the hair and the clothes and it's all coming together, it's beautiful. The transformations are so surreal. She looks way more youthful and way more competitive now, in my opinion. Jill. I don't like anything about this picture. It just looks awkward and amateurish to me. Miriam. Her directive for this shoot was to sell the dress. She should never even have tried this. Nikita, I, I am in love with this photo. She's totally in the running for me again. I think we've made that decision. So we go in, in the hotel and we went to the pool. And there was Yasmin and Mike sitting there like as if they're on the beach or something. We're gonna teach you how to push through a barrage of elements. But it's paramount that you always focus to get the shot. We're gonna pair you guys up and you will pummel your partner with water. You have to learn how to keep your face beautiful. You can't be like, eh, eh, or you know, you can't, you can't. Ooh. Foxy Mamas! Yay! Nikita and Tara, why don't you guys get in the pool? So you had to get in the water and strike a pose and try and look sexy and not blink. Just try and be conscious. You push the hair, like kind of work it if you can. Work it into the shot. You know, that could be your pose. Stop. You got to ignore what is happening to you. Although I do have to say I love the raccoon eye makeup right now. It's fabulous. I know! <laughs> Let's have Lindsay and Rebecca. Woo! And hit her. Oh! Ow! <laughs> you know what? Nobody could survive that. That was a freaking tsunami. Okay, so 
So that sexy intensity in your eyes, try and hold that. One, two. Ebony, I think I'm going to come in the pool and work with you on this. She's got such a killer body. I think the girls enjoyed that vision as much as I did. <laughs> hold it. She is doing one of these. I kept on going like this. Getting for me really good. Harder, harder. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. I think the girl that did the best today was Megan. Now you've got these jealous judges in front of you, but let me remind you who they are. First, highly sought after fashion and celebrity photographer, Mike Ruiz. Wow, you guys look so cute today. Heather, you're up first. <laughs> Totally nailed the emotion and the, the vibe. All right, Ebony. It's beautiful. Oh, can we go in close? <laughs> I'm reading distant glare that serial killers get after they uh -huh. slaughter somebody. <laughs> they slaughter he, somebody. He ditched her and then she killed it. All right, Rebecca, you're next. Aww. You've completely given us 100% of yourself in this photograph. All right, Tara, you're next. I buy that. I'm sold. So let's punch in a little. See the face. It's like you're, you're like, smelling rotten fish on the beach. What's that stank up in here? Yeah. Even though you're emoting and you're supposed to be sad, you should always be conscious of looking pretty. All right, Miriam. I love this picture. Thank you. You look genuinely pissed. <laughs> well, we got to find our bronze beauty, Rebecca. I, I kind of worry about her. There's something very fragile about her, and I think that's going to be to her detriment. Lindsay. She does kind of look like she's napping. Nikita. She looks like Bride of Chucky. She looks like she's in a body cast to me. You know, she strikes me as the kind of girl that would publicly bite the hand that feeds her, you know? Now here comes the big argument of the week. Did Miriam have an unfair advantage? I think she had a hugely unfair disadvantage. Yeah. She's yeah. got to have another chance. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's got too much potential. Megan. This is where I see how she could rise above that generic impression that she's given us. But she might not have that it. But eventually, you know, whatever, but you know. But this isn't no, about I, I, eventually. This is about picking okay. someone who can be Canada's next top oh, model you know in a few I mean. weeks. I, just, I think we made our decision.